Students, today we are going to learn about different egg-laying animals like butterflies, houseflies, etc. So, students, let us immediately start with the chapter Animals, How Life Goes On. And as I said earlier, we are going to study about some other animals that lay eggs. In the last session, we had studied how birds lay eggs, how they reproduce, how they take care of the young ones. And we also studied some things about fishes and frogs. So, other animals like fishes, frogs, reptiles, insects also lay eggs. Fishes and frogs lay eggs in water. Matlab, fishes or frogs, jo hai, wo paani mein ande dete hai. They care for their babies only for a short time, unlike other animals. So, jo dusre jo एनिमल्स है उनकी तरह ये ज़्यादा दिन तक अपने बच्चों की केयर नहीं कर सकते दे केयर फॉर अ वेरी शॉर्ट टाइम फ्रॉक्स लेट अस सी अ फ्रॉक्स एग डेवलप इन टू अ टैड पोल लाइक दिस वन ओवर हियर it keeps growing एंड स्लोली चेंजेस इन टू एडल्ट फ्रॉक सो एज यू कैन सी हियर देर आर एग्स इट gets converted to tadpole and slowly and gradually it gets converted to an adult frog then talking about fish fish lay thousand of eggs at a time in water out of this only few hundred grow into a baby fish many eggs and baby fish are eaten up by big fish so it's really difficult for fishes to survive because there are many <clears throat> um big fishes out there also there are few other animals like human beings who feed on fish to bahut kam fish bach jate hain isse then other animals reptiles like lizards snakes and turtles lay their eggs in holes in the ground after laying the eggs some mothers like that of the turtle go away and never come back many eggs are eaten up by other animals some eggs get warm from the heat of the sun and get hatched then most of the insects such as butterflies grasshopper cockroaches like that shown over here and house fly also lay eggs the young ones when they come out of the egg is called as nymph during their growth they keep shedding their outer layer or covering of their body and gradually develop into adult this process of shedding of outer covering of the body that is the skin by the baby insect during their growth is called molting butterfly and housefly eggs when hatches small worms co uh, come out called as larva so this is a larva okay so butterfly and housefly eggs when hatches small worms come out they are called as larva like that the one which is shown over here this is a larva of a butterfly the larva of butterfly is called caterpillar so this is called as caterpillar and the larva of housefly is called as a maggot life cycle of butterfly let us see the butterfly's life cycle butterfly lay eggs on a leaf like that shown over here and tiny worm like structure hatch from the egg called as larva which i showed you earlier also caterpillar eats leaves all the time and becomes plump and sluggish when it cannot eat more it cover itself from the thread that comes out of the caterpillar's body this stage is called as a pupa so this is a pupa the caterpillar undergoes many changes inside the cocoon this change occurring in the form structure or function of organism in the process of its growth 
or development is called as metamorphosis so this particular stage where a caterpillar gets cover itself with a pupa and then it it comes out like the animals that hatch through the eggs in the similar fashion it comes out through the pupa this particular process is called as a metamorphosis after weeks later a beautiful butterfly comes out of a cocoon well that was all for today i hope you enjoyed today's session let us see some homework the young one of frog is called dash second the young ones of cockroach is called dash butterfly lay eggs on a leaf and tiny worm like structure hatch from the egg called dash then the last question is write a short note on the life cycle of butterfly well that was homework for you and i know i'm quite sure that you will be easily able to solve these questions because we have already discussed in this video but if you have any doubt agar aapko kuch doubt hai to fir se ek bar video dekho aapko zarur ye questions solve karne ko aayenge well let us finish this and i should say goodbye to you see you during next session until then take care bye bye